update. Mr. Excitement, Terry Glenn's not going to make it today because of that injured shoulder, Coach. Well, Terry Glenn might not only be the finest wide receiver in college football at catching 15 touchdown passes, but when you take him out of your passing game, you also indirectly hurt your running game. Now the defense can make a stronger commitment to stop the run. Now, Illinois has beat Mustard to Pasadena. Just an unbelievable football story unfolding in Evanston, Illinois. And Eddie George... And it's not going to be easy for six yards. John Saunders, this Illinois team, and a lot of it traces right back to Coach Tepper. All right, first and ten now for the Bucks. They're coming out from their own 47-yard line, and George has found daylight. Dick, he's able to find some daylight on both sides of that line, especially the right side. Well, this offense flanked out to the left side of Bobby Hoyne now. This is Eddie George. George picking his daylight out to the 10-yard line. And this is a very important first down coming out for the shadow of the own. You bet. When you, down here. when you start down there, your big goal is to get the ball out so you can punt it and get it beyond that 50-yard line. And they don't have a great punting game. Eddie George starting to run free. Breaks it on the left side. All the way out to the 33-yard line. Now you're watching a 6-foot-4, 230-pound running back who runs with the skills and agility of a 6-foot, 200-pound guy. He gets outside, good foot, cannot let him out of there. You can see he, about every time he carries the ball, he's close to setting another record. It was a face mask from their own one-yard line after that punt was down. And they're moving the ball extremely well on the ground. They're blocking that front beautifully. And George now is starting to pile up big yards. Big yards. You see, they brought the wing back back from the... Now, here's your basic eye formation. George left side. And again, he makes the most of it. He was able to beat the first defender that time as Tyrone Washington, a strong safety who presses the line of scrimmage, came up and couldn't make the stop. And normally a good tactor, but is out of the game. Ryan Murphy has slipped into that rush linebacker spot. And George is gone. 15. Five to the three-yard line. There was nobody over here on the right side to defend it. No containment. Seven, and Hardy was picked up. He was coming, and George is stacked up that time. The defense that up out on the run here this time. Well, they vary it. They vary him a lot. Ooh, the inside linebacker did a good job that time. They vary Hardy. They play him as a give him another gap. Bucks lead it by seven right now. Here they come, right back up the middle, and George just breaks off for another big gain to the 30-yard line. Hey, this could be hello. Trophy, where you been? This man's on fire today. This is why we highlighted 115 yards in the opening quarter. There's the toss, short side behind Sualua. He cuts off a Dudley. One of the things that's impressing is the way Dudley, Dudley is starting is to block. butt over there. I oh. mean, he just hooked him. You look, he looks like Brady last year. I never. We off to the right. What a start for number 27, Mr. George, coming at you again. Another big hole, slams inside the 15-yard line. Now what, Brent? And there it is. It was George. He should have stuck with the pass. Yeah. Coach Simeon well, Rice coming. You see, they had three defenders out on the slot, so that's a three-and-two situation. Game plan-wise, they're going to try to run against that because there's one fewer guys to block at the point. Stanley, he's scored. He's the motion. They're going to toss, and Solo buries him. What a block the fullback throws, and it's a first down, but there's a late flag. Did you notice that the formation lined up to, with the strength to the start, short side of the field, Brent, and all the defensive people had a shift. They had lined up improperly. Face man's. Sualua, we run. George to the left, just steps outside. Tillman throwing a block, and it's another first down. Well, you get a wide receiver throwing a block downfield. They're a complete football. Now it's first and 10 for the Bucks. George again, and he steps through to the 23-yard line. The numbers are awesome for the have Like a year ago, a couple of titles decided during the bowl picture. Here's George. George swings to the left side. Foot race. George smashes to the two-yard line. And Ricky Dudley clearing the way again. Dwayne Lyle. Motion man. They load behind Hauser. They'll toss George. 
Rasulullah, and he won't get it because Antoine Patton was able to come off the... Watched him run it Thursday. They got Dudley leading the way. George Sualua. George, George stopped at the one. George, 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 George. <laughs> the toss. It's George. And suddenly it's fourth and goal. And again, McLeod along with on 37-yard line. Eddie George set deep. He can eye the defense. They're coming his in. holes from back there. Outside, there was nothing there but real estate. Well, that time, Denny Marson... No one's going to take a vote to see who wins the Big Ten or the Pac-10. You win it on a field, you go to the Rose Bowl, you play your title game, and you come home. Eddie George slams it for a first down right now. That's the way I believe it. He needs a calculator to keep up with the Bucks. And that time, it was Washington. We've got to say something about these two safeties from Illinois. That is no gimme for the Wildcats on the road at Purdue. The handoff by Hoynes to George in a foot race, and he gets away. George is gone. Eddie George putting up more Heisman Trophy numbers. I'll tell you, Paul Marshall darn near had him tackled in the backfield for minus yardage, but the big, strong, fast guy like Eddie George is, he ran out of the tackle, got good Again, they're collapsing the point, and running back coach Tim Spencer raises his hand. He's done a nice job of coaching this young man. You'll see penetration, 93, right side of your screen. Gets in there, 93, slants in there. Marshall almost gets him there, right there, but he can't get him down. He runs out of it. Total domination at the point of attack. Good offensive blocking by the left side. Jamie Sumner, 72, Orlando Pace, touchdown. Tommy Frazier, it's your turn, buddy. Came up and went on a quick count. They're not lined up. That's an easy play to move. That's a good way. Come back with that one. Wow. Got caught with your down. George again, and he is stalking the record. Eddie George looking for an Ohio State record, which is held by Keith Byers. They're absolutely annihilating him up inside with Juan Porter. LaShawn Daniels and Jamie Sumner. This is all he needs, 11 yards to pass Keith Byers. And I'll tell you, Keith Byers is pretty good. You did that game. Yeah. It was against the, he ran out of his shoe Shooter. that yeah. day. I watched it on television. Yeah, what a memory you have. Eddie, the crowd, very well aware of the impressive numbers that he's putting up here this afternoon. They'll stick with him and nothing doing that time to the 20-yard line. And a half minutes to go. The penetration. They got some penetration that time. Mickey Johnson, 94. And you and I still have a Nebraska game against Oklahoma, and I'm yep. very impressed with what Tommy Frazier yeah. has done. Yeah. Here's George battling back to the 29-yard line. I'm very, very impressed with how they <laughs> hooked down now. And George slants. First down, 25. Passes his way to the 18 and draws closer and closer to Byers' record. When you're in trouble and don't mind it through the years. Lined up over there at that tackle spot. Now George steps through to the 13-yard line. One of the things that I've always thought... Had 275 and the new Ohio State rushing record for the moment. He adds to it. George slams to the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, baby, what a run. He's so strong. If you try to reach and grab him with your arms, you aren't going to stop him. Look at old Coach Cooper as he bumped, and he deserves it. He's been through a lot of static over the years here, trying to equal the, the likes of a Woody Hayes. And today his team steps up and proves to the country that they're a fine, fine football team. Not much doubt from where he's going. Again, Ricky Dudley, the athlete that he is, staying on his feet on his block. Dick, that was incredible how he slammed into Lyle right at the goal line. He took him on. Now, working against the clock, they've got two seconds. They just do get it off. Eddie George stretches it, and he's outnumbered. So that time, he takes a loss back to the 14-yard line. Paul Marshall, number 93. Ohio State and Michigan. And wouldn't Michigan love to represent Northwestern on that Saturday afternoon? They'd love to deny the Buckeyes. Touchdown. Touchdown. Um, you know who this time as a receiver. That's his third touchdown of the game. Well, they were in the defense where they 
take the outside linebacker and walk him out on the wide receiver away from the strong side of the formation. That was Kevin Hardy, 51, and he just got in behind Kevin Hardy and threw it perfectly to Eddie George. Now he scores as a receiver. His first reception. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And we've seen some good football teams. We've seen Florida State and these kind of football teams, but the, this team is a, a complete package, and I think on a given day can beat anybody in the country. But you know the other thing that they have, Northwestern. He should audible to pass against this defense. He doesn't. Eddie George slashes to the 48-yard line, and uh, now for a bringing that clock down again. Going to snap it at two seconds. Oh, nice one, George. Hello, 300. Eddie George following his blocker. A great draw play, third and long, in comes upfield. Follow the block from the right side of your screen. They get Hardy, 51, upfield. Now here comes Pepe Person, 29. He gets a knockdown block at the point of attack. There he is, running free. Boy, has he been in out in the open with no defenders around him about 10 times today. Dick, that is 313 yards. He's the first in history. You can think of all the great backs. Archie, the Archie Griffin. Griffin. Keith Byers. One after another have Hop come along to this Many of them fullbacks through the years. But Eddie George becomes the first in history to rush for better than 300 yards. And his work day is not yet finished. Sure and George now. And here comes Eddie. Here's the ovation. 